Hi everybody, Melissa from Cloud Mom. I got such a great question the other day that just, you know, had me like craving to answer it. And it came in from Natalie, and here's what she asked. At what age do babies and toddlers need to have their own gender specific room? Great question. This is something I really have lived with and I'm gonna quickly describe to you guys where we are in my family when it comes to room sharing because you guys know I have five kids. So first I have three boys who are now 10, 12, and 13. They share a room where they have a bunk bed with a trundle. The 10 year old is on the trundle every night. It's kind of a pain because we have to push it in every morning under the bed. The 13 year old's on the top bunk, the 12 year old is on the bottom bunk. Now, in that room there's one desk with a chair where I can have one kid doing homework. There's a bookshelf, there's a big closet where they all have space you know, for their clothes, but basically we've had to be very minimalist. I don't have, you know, posters, wall hangings, they each have like two sweatshirts. We're very careful in terms of stuff because I just don't in an apartment have room for it. So they don't really have rooms that are, you know, such that a lot of kids have where they really have their own real estate or territory, which actually could pose its own problems, but that's what we've been doing thus far. In the girls' room, very similar. It's an even smaller room. I have a basic bed with a trundle. I have two Ikea desks where they can draw and so forth, a small bookshelf, and the same big closet where they, I have all of their clothes, coats, shoes, and all the rest of it. So. As of now, yes, I have gender specific rooms, but I do have a lot of kids sharing rooms. And when we're away, because we love to try to travel in the summer because I have a lot of family in Europe, I'm you know, of Swedish descent, we love to try to travel and we are constantly sharing rooms between and among genders. And I think the way to deal with this is to try to make you know, bath time and bathroom time the place where if they're feeling uncomfortable, you know, they change their clothes, they go to the bathroom and they do, you know, get and merit in those rooms some privacy. So in terms of your question, when do different gender babies or toddlers have to have their own room? I guess I would venture to say never. I don't really think it's a must. Some people will never really have that sort of space. Um, but I will say that children, you know, in some ways, a lot of people say they're smarter than us and I really believe that. And there will come an age and a time where they will tell you that they are not comfortable with perhaps, you know, other people seeing their body, they want some privacy, they don't want anybody walking in when they're in the shower. I have some kids like this and as much as we try to focus on manners and everything, one of them will be in the shower and someone else will come in and it's like, get out! <laughs> I'm like, ah! And you know, they get really sort of riled up over the whole thing because they really want their privacy, which I think is fine. By the way, I don't even have locks on my bathrooms, which my boys despise because also we only have, you know, two bathrooms for all of the kids and I just can't have one kid like locking himself on the, in the bathroom for hours on end because it's a place that we all have to use. I can say that in Sweden, people are very flexible about this. My aunt once told me that once she walked in and there were four of her kids in the bathroom, one, two boys, two girls, one was on the potty, one was brushing his teeth, one was taking a bath, and the other one was doing I don't even know what, and it was just all calm and natural and normal because that's how they've grown up and they didn't, and they didn't think twice about it. But you know what? I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me here, so moms and dads, please weigh in. When do you think a child should have their own bedroom or only be sharing a bedroom with another child of the same sex? I'm really interested in this issue. Would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching Cloud Mom, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.